hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and another segment of don't be telling my business why are you telling my business and i'm like because i can i can't can and i can't can and it's scandalous and that's what the people want to hear marvelous about all the strange things you are doing out here yes honey this is scandalous 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 and nini is front row center for all of it because she's running her own train that's gonna run off the cliff one day sooner than she thinks because i'm telling you if these african women liberian women just plain you know not americanized women i should say of the brown caucasian side they got taste they got uh they got that they got some uh respect about themselves now, i don't know how they handle the fallback the fallout of their wayward men going trying to mess with uh black american women and trying to set them up and you know because it is a fascination and it is a curiosity of what um they can experience with somebody outside of their culture their race you know whatever as <clears throat> so i can see the fascination i can see the curiosity i can see the need but all of it is really based around lust now one thing i could say our fabric for the americanized woman in our uh black race is deteriorating quicker than you could say jumping jack flash i mean it's almost like it's a new normal out here where forget the way marriage was designed way back when or hell even just 20 years ago no we finna make a mockery out of it we finna say you do what you want to do almost like the Al alistair crawley type um mentality do what you will or do what you want in a sense and that's not right that's not right that's not i don't agree with it i i wholeheartedly said our society as a whole is going to hell if we participate in throwing the whole fabric away it's still supposed to be no type of inviting people into your bedroom okay and especially not inviting people into a marriage situation I mean, where have we gone where have we gone wrong where we can just legally separate and still go elf anybody and everybody we want to but you can't divorce this person why not get rid of them you definitely don't want them you know you definitely don't want them and why prolong the inevitable okay because it's not like nini's messing with somebody she spent a lifetime with or at least 50 plus years i should say which is half a century okay and then if you were close to that statement of half a century what would make you want to go out there and get into the rat waste again i mean i can understand you enlisting some of your good 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 friends to set you up with somebody and it just be you know you're sitting in public with this person but you ain't doing no hugging and kissing and all like that you know what i'm saying if you're gonna do it be respectful you know what i'm saying because it's all about looking out for your image if you have children still for their image and people come saying why your mama here acting like a hoe a thought what's going on that's gonna make them get in a fight and then they're gonna be coming back because you're gonna be like why you getting in a fight why you did it they were like i'm defending you you going out here doing all this stuff you think about me how we gonna fit me you know kids get back with you when they get mad or their friends getting on them about one of their parents living foul out here but and you never get tired or trying to defend your parent even when your parents are older and you're older I meaning you're a young grown adult hell you could be a middle-aged adult you don't want your parents doing certain things because you know what you feel about it and you know how people in your peer circle feels about stuff like that and then when they had to come in and you have to go and defend your parent when you know she or he is living foul it, it kind of gets disgusting and i wouldn't be surprised i'm telling you because brett seemed like he cut from good claw more so on his dad's side well hell i don't know because dad wasn't doing too well either it, it's just a messed up situation but sometimes kids can form a relationship that they 
look and admire other people outside of the people they grew up with or their family dynamics and they can say well this person never did this and i've always seen them being loving even though i'm on the outside looking in i want to try to mimic my life to be like that person because they never show any infractions if they were getting down behind the scenes with somebody else they never let it be public and you know i kind of respect that not saying it was right but at least they ain't getting people's perspectives on how the situation looks out there in the public and they don't have to go and defend folks so i said that to say this nene are you out here promoting a new normal you remember that show you supposed to have been on but then it just crashed and burned right in front of your face you had to hightail it back here to atlanta to get back on real housewives of atlanta pleading begging and your entrance was cynthia Okay, they got you back on the show, introduced you back into the show that you left because you thought you had outgrew the show and you were headed for bigger and better things. Nope, they threw you right back. <laughs> You're like, uh-uh, we ain't got no time for you because you loud mouth, you file, you go out there in the streets, you can't represent no good stock brand like Tiffany's or Nordstrom's or shit, anything upper echelon Louis Vuitton. You see what I'm saying? You, you can't go and represent them people because they don't want to be fooling with all of your essence of foul mouth ratchetness and fighting folks and calling people itches and and garden tools and all this stuff they don't mm, they brand ha- cannot be tainted so that's where we were there but you know getting back to the main question are you teaching the newbies the younger generation how to conform to a society where it's okay to be the side chick it's okay to date married men or married women it's okay is that what you're doing because it seems like um portia williams is kind of taking notes from you or from other people she's seen and she's going on that same stamp of approval that it seems like you're trying to pass out here and let everybody get on the train with you well that train is gonna lead you straight to hell what it gonna do okay because just because a man come out and say you know i ain't happy I ain't this I ain't that and probably ain't telling his wife nothing like that and going home whenever he feel like he choose to because i'm gonna say it it may not be true but the ones that i know that i've worked with you know for several years they in the african um race they tend to be a lot more submissive to their husbands than americanized western women of the uh brown uh minority shade okay or the melanated shade no you know we we have you well i'm just gonna say women that love themselves and that love right versus wrong you know what i'm saying and what's going to be fruitful and what's not going to be fruitful. I ain't talking about these, you know, women out here. That's, you know, women of the night, Jezebels and all this. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about good stock women who dress appropriately. And if they want to show a little skin, it ain't all ass tits out, all ass out, you know, all stomach out, out. It ain't like that, okay? It ain't like Kim Kardashian came out with that dress where you could see nothing. It was kind of see-through and all that stuff. Or even Megan Good. They was married to a preacher. You know, she was still dressing, you know, salacious and, you know, not like, not like woman of the cloth should be wearing. You know what I'm saying? You can look very pretty and lead something to the imagination. You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, let me undress you in my mind because I've seen what you look like behind closed doors. But, Lord, you are wearing that suit and I know what's under that suit. You know, that type of uh, interest. Or fascination. That that be it. And let it be done. And, and, and whatever. Because I'm telling you. These men behind your back. Because I have a slew of older cousins. They talk about women like that. Like a dog. And be want to get into their. You know. Panties. Draw. Whatever you want to see it. They'll go and, and, and seek them out. Behind closed doors. And you know. Get all their cheap thrills and frills out. But they ain't definitely coming out with you. No, because they you don't step yourself as a street walker, a hoe, a, 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 a do girl, you know, a stripper. However, it's just a woman that's not fit to be put on somebody's arm that's uh, liked by the community, that has some oomph about themselves, that people admire and, and, and want to mimic themselves at, you know, just good character you know uh good camaraderie with the people I always try to do what's right you ain't gonna be on their arms Mm-mm, you ain't not gonna be showcasing around but you know i can't say um 
that they do put up with a lot and then maybe they brainwash maybe they men and their culture be saying you know i'm doing this for us this that and the third but you know sometimes it seems like women need to rise up and say fuck it you know you ain't doing it for me you're doing it for your self-pleasure because we got money here we got a family here but yet you want to go do your own thing you know what i'm saying women in general i don't care you know if it's melanated it's jewish uh latino mexican we need to just check these men out here and think that they can go have their cake and eat it too. Because one thing about a man, when they find out that you're doing something and you're doing something with a brother they may or may not like, they got a problem with it. They got attitude. They got everything. But you're not supposed to have an attitude or have a problem with it when they doing it. And how unfair is that? And then a whole tradition about Africans can definitely, and I'm just speaking in general, I'm not trying to... Uh, uh make like i know the culture I, I just work with a lot of african women uh from ghana from africa from uh what do you call this people what, what was they got it was nigerian it was uh started with an s i can't sing a knees or something like that i can't i can't i can't remember but the whole thing was um they really like how we are different with how we express ourselves and how we do um, try to be more invested in careers and stuff of that nature when they are very much so submissive in a certain way uh, to theirs. But, you know, if it's honorable careers, you could do it. You can, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. But they tend to still make all the decisions and they still tend to go and do what they want to do but you have a lot in that race or, or culture that are just saying what it is and they're breaking out the stereotypical uh, norm and they're taking charge of their lives and their families and if the man don't like it in their culture they're like well you know you either get with it you don't get with it i'm willing to work with you but i'm not willing for you to continue making a fool out of me thinking oh this is our culture and, you know, you can have many, many uh, concubines or wives just as long as you can afford all the wives and you treat them equally as well as the children get the same good stock as far as good education. They get to take trips. They have the same amount of expenditures as far as food, clothing, shelter. Everybody's living on the same level. Nobody's living above somebody else. Now, you know, some people can get with that. I still can't get with that. I'm sorry. I want you to myself. I want you to want me for yourself. And that's it. Oh, we can't be together. You know what I'm saying? We just can't do it. Because I ain't finna sit and wait to get my knocks rocked off because you have me down on Fridays when you don't elf uh susie veronica jane maria and then you get to me and you tired no <laughs> or they don't romance you uh, or, or you don't went out with them done treated them and you just tired no i'm not gonna be that one that nurtures you for you to go back to them and live the limelight and then you come to me all tired broken down and i'm supposed to be you know sympathetic to your ears and I'm supposed to take care of you and get you ready again to go and, and do what you want to do Monday through Friday. No, it's not going to work like that. No, I can't do it. Can't do it. Won't do it. Can't do it. Okay, but we're going to go on into this situation where I want to understand this situation with NeNe. Now, uh, I speculated a long time ago when, you know, she was coming out calling herself uh having men dm her you know after greg had died uh two months ago and she was saying she had men eligible men trying to get with her and she was talking about shoot your best shot and all that shit i'm like okay you're gonna mess around your greg did leave you some money these men you telling to shoot your shot and you're supposed to be a woman of today's society that can foot the bill bring home all the bacon serve it up and still be cool all right you got retirement to look for so while you out here uh looking fabulous and going with these men and, and they're uh i'm not gonna say they totally using her because you can't be used unless you want to be used okay but you, you you're co-signing their businesses and 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 trying to use your platform of notoriety to get people to go at least look at his uh clothing line a clothing store or whatnot because he's supposed to be allegedly a tailor 
uh, and he, he dressed people with the finer uh, material uh, for making their wardrobes, their suits and stuff like that. He ain't no cheap uh, connoisseur of the fashion world. He used uh, good uh, uh, good material when producing his tailored suits. So, okay, I, I guess he's trying to be Louis Vuitton over there. I'm not sure. I don't care, you know. But he's using uh, Nini's platform to uplift him and get him more business so if that's the little tricks of the trade and the trade off he told his wife in north carolina he was going to use these black influential women to uh increase his revenue and make it better for their family then you know nini need to be watching out for that because you only know the man i just say you know the man but three years okay and you got a chance to shoot your shot behind the scenes just to get get, get arguments sake. Are you going to be always wanting to be behind the scenes, Nene? Because it don't seem like you are that tight. And what if that woman, that married woman to this man that you're stepping out in public with, calling him your man, what if she just get tired one day and just come out, just come out to some outlet, some media outlet, and blast the hell out of you, okay? Don't you think that's going to be like egg on your face? Because they're going to think, they're going to listen to that woman that he's legally married to versus what we've been seeing you come out here and do, okay? She, we're going to have sympathy for her. And nine times ten, we're going to dog him, and then we're going to come for you. Now, in that order. That's just how it is. You put yourself in a situation, you put it out there, and you don't think people are going to have something to say. And that mind boggles me, too, when people feel that you shouldn't be talking about these people. I'm like, well, you know, I wouldn't be talking about them if they didn't come out and put this ratchetness uh, on TV or on social media. It's not like I'm going looking for them. It just happens to fall on my timeline on my social media accounts and i'm like damn I, you know this is some messed up mess you know what i'm saying and people are like with well, greg gone this that, and third well, we're gonna leave greg out of it he was here we could talk about him i don't like talking about the dead unless i'm saying something good and then, you know like i said greg had his infractions too because he had a whole family of two five kids and he got nene out the strip club now what his wife was doing or not doing i don't know so we're gonna give greg a little uh a little blotch on his thing too because like i said you know he was just acting so good in the public and the wife or wives never came out to say something different for us to go against greg in a sense or look at greg in a a, a, a demeaning light so we couldn't really put the two together because he was treating Nene so well. So we kind of left it alone, you know, because I'm not the one to go digging up people's props. So I only talk about it when it comes out and it's coming out their mouth and it's coming out their social media. So it's like you want it to come out. So don't get don't don't think you're not going to have backlash because everybody's not going to agree with you and your actions. You're going to have people like me. They got morals and be like, ah, that just don't look right. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't tell Nene when to start dating. Nobody can. But we just saying, have a little class about it. You could have been dating this man. And, uh, you know, the good bloggers that go out there and dig up dirt and want to put salt on your name, they're going to bring it out. Whether the person you messing with married, they have financial trouble, you know, they going to get the whole nine yards. And to build up their platform. But that's what they invested in. That's probably their livelihood. And that's what keeps them having food, clothes, and shelter. Because they like entertainment. And they're, they're, in, in all fairness, they're not doing nothing. The bigger television people uh, that have shows like the Wendy Williams show, that's a big organization. They ain't got Wendy's name stamped on it and she signed the checks and she makes the major, major decision. No, they use her like we use the president. We use them as a spokesperson, a spokes tool um, <coughs> technique because Congress is up there really passing the bills, really making the decisions. And we just don't want to have, uh, you know, all the people's opinions and, and who voted for what way and, and this way and all that. We just need one person to come out and say, this is what we're going to do. Okay. So that's pretty much what these uh, big entities like The View, The Real, uh, uh, you know, Kelly Clarkson Show, 
they talk about other celebrities. Now, they don't get as salacious as Wendy's show. Because Wendy ain't got no friends. She don't want no friends. She just want to be able to say what she say. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? She, half the time, she don't go back on her word. Because she knows what's going on. Because she's in the industry. Now, is she a puppet or something for the industry to least? I believe so. But that's another whole story for another whole video and that's just it so i think nini is using her own platform to bring out these different stories whether they're true or not it's still happening she's still promoting it she's still laughing you know when when greg had died she was on a platform crying and carrying on everybody was like you know coming to her defense and telling her you know go seek therapy and and, and grieve and just that there and like no nini what you need to do is sit your ass down somewhere. And if Greg left you any type of money, you need to be using that for your retirement. Do you make you happy? But don't sit up here and mess with married men or men that are separated legally. Go find you a man and pray to the Lord. Okay, you saying you was all prayed up and the Lord got you and this, that, that. You don't fuck out about him, honey. Because he's a God of many, many talents and he do answers prayers. You see what I'm saying? Go get somebody that's not tied up with somebody. Okay? And if they're not on that caliber, that may be a good thing for you. Okay, they might have an honest, hardworking, everyday blow your job. You know what I'm saying? But it's 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 ethical, it's moral, and it, they make a good living where they can support themselves and you. You see what I'm saying? Because you say you want to be happy, you want to be loved. You don't always have to date anybody in the enta entertainment business, or they got to have, you know, uh, a big name behind themselves, unless that's you. So that means, like, you don't want love, you want security. And really, security is a vain way of living, because nothing is promised, and nothing is um, as it seems, okay? You might have money one day, a big situation come, like a hurricane or a tornado, and, and take it all out the bank, and then you're starting all over again. I say this to say this say that to say this just enjoy your life stop trying to build up all of this wealth that either you're gonna leave for somebody else to spend or you're gonna be trying to keep it from other people instead of enjoying it you know what i'm saying you don't put out the hard work just enjoy it just enjoy male companionship okay or female companionship i don't know which way you really go don't really care but just enjoy the companionship but don't make it as a public statement of look who's i'm dating look what he's about you know it's like you 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 want to be in that fishbowl. You want us to take a look at you from time to time. You be in your fishbowl just turning tricks. And be like, oh, let's go check on Nina. Let's see what she's doing. Oh, that's cute. That's good. Oh, Lord, what is she doing now? Ah, you know, you want to be that salacious story out there. You want to be back into the entertainment business. And you're not going to rest until somebody signs you to another reality show. Ratchetness. Because you're not going to get anything that's big. Because you don't destroy too many bridges. And they know. They know. They looking. And they just passing you up. Passing you by. So if this is what you get. Girl get on your YouTube channel. Make it a YouTube. You could probably hit 100k easily. With the shit you doing out here. Easily. And then we could get it from your perspective. Of what you feel about a situation. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, but I, like I said. It would be very interesting. If Nene called herself moved to North Carolina. And she might be trying to move closer to keep an eye tab on that Naomi, okay? If he is definitely living and residing in uh, North Carolina, he has a son, I'm understanding. And, uh, you know, his wife that, you know, he's still married to on paper legally. So, don't go there because we don't want to see you, hear you fighting down now, putting hands on somebody or somebody putting hands on you, I should say. Um behind this Naomi guy don't go fight no man and definitely don't go over there trying to uh make or degrade his wife you know she ain't looking right she ain't uh treating him right so he he came looking for you you didn't come looking for all that kind of shit don't know because that woman might have a frying pan 
and uh, uh some other stuff waiting for you okay girl so don't don't go visit her don't go live by her just stay in atlanta or go to miami and live or hell go to hollywood go get you an acting coach and try to do something up there but don't go mess around in north carolina don't even do no nothing in north carolina don't even go visit north carolina because then to me it's like you starting shit you want shit to pop off and <laughs> you might not want that smoke that wife got waiting for you okay girl and she might got friends girl don't go to north carolina is all i'm saying all right and um like i said i really feel naomi is using nini for her public uh notoriety and he's trying to cash in on that and it's sad that um peter hooked her up well you know one video i, I told y'all I forgot they said Cynthia was had introduced them together, which like I said, I, I don't I didn't believe that one. Uh, but uh Peter is still the forerunner of saying he introduced them together. And I'm like, what kind of friend is um Peter if he's introducing you to legally separated men? Knowing they're not they're not available. But yeah, and then you call him a bitch. When y'all was filming together on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I don't know what kind of friends you got, Nene. You definitely don't need no enemies. But you, you know, I, yeah, you don't need no enemies. If you got friends, you float around like that. And you could quickly forgive uh, Peter, but you can't forgive Cynthia. Y'all can't move forward. Girl, that's a hot mess. Um, then I heard, now I don't know if it's true. But Portia and Nene was sleeping with Peter Thomas. Can y'all stomach that? Now I'm just saying. If somebody said it was on Tamara Tattles in 2006. Anybody want to go back, way on back, and, and try to retract that uh, statement or uh, see did it actually come from the Tamara Tattles show or whatnot. But, yeah, they said Nene and Portia had got down behind Cynthia back with Peter Thomas. Oh, good. Can you stand that? i like, boy, that, them Jezebel's going to bust hell wide open. Okay. But, you know, I don't know. It seems like um, people or women like Nene and Portia, the westernized, melanated women, are going around here trying to steal and take African women's husbands from them to make themselves look good, try to get some of their riches. And, and, and I'm like, do you... I wouldn't go to their country. I can promise you that. They outlets probably dogging you and Portia out like it ain't nobody's business. So y'all better watch y'all travels. Because, you know, I don't want them bad to happen to you. But when people get tired, they get tired of cer certain situations. You may become the blanket person that they need to take all their hatred, all their anger out on. When they should start at the house with the husbands. Just go on and divorce these uh, these trashy men. Uh, just go on and divorce them. Or if it's a man uh, being done wrong, go on and divorce. Just get a, you know, because they're going to try to get your money either way. So I would have the court system just say, divide it all up. Or better yet, get prenups. If you don't want to do a prenup, then you don't need to marry them. You really don't need to marry them. Okay, that's period, point, and blank. <sighs> and then I saw somewhere on SS.com, Nene stated her man had been dating for two months. Ain't that the same shit Portia said? Two months, three months, four months? Really? No, because your husband just died three months ago. Remember September 1st? Then we got November, wait a minute, September, October, November, December. No, Nene, this is three months ago. So you're saying y'all were dating two months ago. You were dating somebody while your husband was on his deathbed? Really? That's how we go? And I don't care what people be saying. They've been checked out. They've been, you know, not, um, they were sleeping in separate bedrooms. This, that, and the third. Hell, I have some relatives that do that. But I promise you, they ain't out in them streets uh, flaunting another man or another woman. Yes, I had a particular aunt that actually, um, her and her husband was sleep, sleeping in separate rooms because, you know, they just, you know, they weren't feeling each other. And I guess some people do that in their real marriages, you know, uh, whatnot. But I ain't never seen nobody get up and call themselves finna go fight somebody, you know what I'm saying? Or go to somebody's house or have, you know, questionable phone calls where, you know, the phone will ring and you pick it up and nobody won't say nothing. But then when you're 
or uh, hoods forget the phone or uh, they having a conversation or vice versa <laughs> no child please that that's a that's a murder that's a murder thing right there or somebody going to jail or somebody gonna have something cut off now that's all i'm saying that's all i am saying but yeah we could just stop the foolishness we can stop being rational with the situation with Nene because, like I said, I think she's clout chasing. I think, you know, Greg must have didn't leave her a lot of money because anybody in their right mind, if my ex husband who or deceased husband left my, my side and went to the pearly gates or transitioned into another plane of existence, his spirit, and he left me set. That's the last thing I'm going to be thinking about. <laughs> That's the last thing I'm going to be thinking about is trying to date somebody. Child, I'm going to go out here. <laughs> I'm going to go find me an accountant saying, can you invest this, this, this? Okay, safe investments, which, you know, nothing's really safe when you're playing the stock market or you're investing in all these different uh, portfolios to make you money. So be cautious with that as well. But I would have been doing a little sum of that, you know, like putting 2% here, 3%, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then I would have went on some shopping sprees that, you know, he probably denied me or talked me out of. I, I would be treating myself and certain family members that was down with me through all my bad times with this joker that long left my side. And all the shit he put me through. And then I forgave him and we still went on into the sunset. And, and until w the sun set it permanently on one of us and that's what i would be doing i would be trying to say i'm hooked up with nobody now you might see me with tim uh for two or three months out in the public being respectful you know just holding hands or whatnot or you know hugging each other but no kissy kiss nothing all that you know you might find us dining and shit i might be with david three months later you know what I'm saying? Just dining out, just living life. And who's to say? You don't know. I ain't doing nothing for public aesthetics. And the op optics are going to look good. Now, things that happen in the dark, behind closed doors, only the Lord can judge me. Okay? Because I ain't trying to let somebody like TMZ don't got a long lens and they infringe it. But, you know, me, I don't like windows that are open 24-7 or don't have no curtains on them. I wasn't raised that way, and I still, to this day, if I had money, money, we would still have drapes, we would still have the little shield, and we would have the big one when it come at night. But well, you ain't seeing nothing unless you got cameras hidden in my house. And then I'm going to be having a lawsuit somewhere. Somebody don't breach my uh, home and my confidence that I had in them. And, you know, lawsuits will be filing, uh, filing and filed. Wait a minute filed and following to that designated person that did this uh, horrific thing to me okay because my privateness is my privateness now what i do out in public people can speculate all day long people can speculate all day long what they want to think what how they want to do it but like i said if you put the perception out there you're going to have backlash especially if it's not looking right it's not adding up right because people have opinions just like they have assholes that feces drip out of it from time to time okay you know, we got to release our, you know, food and stuff. It doesn't um, provide nutrients to its different cells that needed it and whatever. And the other stuff just goes through the intestines to the waste and it's out your ass, okay? I'm just saying. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all enjoy it. Y'all like it, love it, being different with it. It's your opinion. It's your perspective. I get it. Got it good. Okay? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would truly like you to do so. So you can become family over here. And I could be seen as your auntie, your mama, your grandmama, uh, your good friend. Uh, however you want to see me. Okay? Your advisor. <laughs> it's all good in the hood. And you'll be notified when I get videos, okay, when I drop videos that y'all can relate to and y'all want to chime in. Because I like to hear y'all opinions as well. May not agree with all of them, you know, but you're still going to get a heart from me. You're still going to get that love and that respect and, you know, you know whatever I, I want to say to you. Because I want to, you know, I might get hard for some people. When some people put stuff out there, I had to go on and, you know, give them my opinion back. But um, I love that y'all love my commentary. I love that you don't like my commentary. You know, because if you love everything that I did all the time, then that would be pretty boring, right? 
So I don't mind people chin checking me. Just do it respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Because I try to, you know, when I'm talking about celebrities, I try to be respectful too. You know, um, unless they just really doing something foul out there, and I just gotta go in on them. You know, but like I said, it's just my opinion. It ain't like I'm, uh, you know, I'm the Holy Grail and I know everything and stuff like that. I'm like I'm eating at these folks' tables and this, that, and the third. But uh, you ain't gotta necessarily eat at the table to find uh, true tea on these people, because somebody gonna tell. You, trust and believe. So somebody's gonna tell that was sitting at your table that you called yourself trusting because like i said don't do a crime if you don't want to do the time and you don't want to take the fall back don't do it just let it be between you and the lord that's it okay but other than that please share my videos share 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 we want to grow we want to grow we want to grow share and like my videos guys I really would appreciate it. And it's all free. Sharing, liking, and subscribing. All of it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Okay? And you can take my long videos in doses. But if you like me, you're going to watch from beginning to end. Because it's going to be some gems dropped along, you know, throughout the segment of that particular show. Okay? But I'll catch y'all next video. Y'all be blessed and be breezy. Bye-bye.